Hi, I'm James Crooks. I'm the Director of Learning and Information Services here at the University of Central Lancashire. Digital capabilities, I think, are critical to any organisation, and in particular at the University of Central Lancashire, we have such a broad and diverse community of students and staff. We do courses in all sorts of different disciplines that relate to different sectors and industries. Most importantly, in some ways, for our staff, it's really about helping them to inspire our students to become that modern workforce of the future, in a sense that they are truly digitally enabled. What Teams has done for me, it's absolutely put the team front and centre. It's all about the people, to structure communication in a way that's effective and to allow people to collaborate. It's significantly reduced the amount of email I deal with on, on a daily basis. It's allowing the teams to see the impact of the decisions and the work they, they have to do and how that impacts other areas of the team. So at the moment we're doing a refurbishment project in our lecture theatres but that will have a huge impact on what we can then do with students in class. Although we've been using Teams for project management, we've also found through a number of different projects that it helps with communication because you can add in more informal nuggets of information. You can just suggest that people look at a certain link, that they are involved in a certain conversation. It just helps the projects flow more easily. Things that you wouldn't necessarily send a group email about, Teams helps us with the conversation flow. I've used Microsoft Teams to create a digital learning community, a platform where staff can collaborate, share ideas, share content, share resources and work in a cross-faculty way. Teams has enabled conversations across faculty that have never happened before. It's given a real output for that passion in regards to technology-enabled learning. And it has also turned staff onto the Microsoft Educator community, so they're now becoming MIEs and MIE experts and sharing that good practice. We use it as a central project management tool, so we bring a lot of what we already use and have historically used, like emails, folder usage and chat functions together and really consolidate that in one place. I quite rarely use the desktop function, if I'm honest. It's more the mobile apps, uh, which I use on, on a couple of mobile devices, which gives access to, to all the functions that, that Teams has. Thinking in terms of relationships that we have with organisations like Microsoft, who are heavily invested in developing student experience and learning and teaching technologies. It's really in our interest to, to work collaboratively with them on a, on a more strategic level than just a sort of supplier-consumer level. Um, and and that's, that's something that we've really had great benefits from already.